Right, welcome back to part two of the Android 8 Belsi E87 head unit install. Uh, I've got it in there, got all the LCI trim parts in here so it fits really nicely. As you can see there, um, the only modification I had to do was to the original pre-LCI dash, because this is still the pre-LCI at the top and LCI below. Um, the center console section here, I had to trim off the back plastic piece which, interf which interferes with the new head unit because of where the plug sits on the back of the head unit. Uh, it took roughly three seconds to do it and it was pretty easy so it's hardly a major. Um, this piece here screws to the back of this piece here and it's got metal brackets that attach all the aircon controls. Um, so to install and remove the head unit you pull that and pull that and unscrew the two. Uh, piece of piss, easy as. Um, all the options buttons I've removed. Um, I just pulled the CAN bus cable straight out the back of the aircon control where it normally sits, it sort of loops back around of it, and um, disconnected it, and everything's working. Um, because the head unit's so well integrated with CAN bus, uh, I don't think you even need the buttons anymore. Um, I'm not too sure about heated seats and other options, it may well talk to them, it's quite possible because I've done a lot of work with the CAN bus integration obviously. Uh, right, let's see what it does. Let's fire up apps. Um, I've just been throwing apps at this thing. I haven't found anything that doesn't run yet. You can just go into Play Store and go nuts. Uh, it's got really poor lighting at the moment here, but you might see the, the screen's actually really, really nice. Here's a picture of a girl with a head cut off. <laughs> uh, in terms of camera integration, volume controls, mute, phone controls, uh, you can change tracks and stuff with it, or change music folders. The works, uh, and then you've got your um, obvious radio station changes and track changes and such. But uh, it does a whole bunch of cool stuff, like even here, like you can see because it's blowing out with white balance. Um, it does picture in picture stuff as well, so you can keep playing like YouTube in the background while you're doing other things, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff it does. Let's turn this down a touch. Uh, let's go home. The picture and picture stuff, pretty cool. Um, I've currently got a Carly adapter plugged in there. So as well as being able to do the Carly stuff like code my car, I can also run talk. Um, for those who aren't familiar with Talk, it takes OBD2 data and um, does a whole bunch of cool stuff with it. Let's get rid of that. So, there's a whole bunch of gauges. Um, this is just default Talk. I haven't played with it at all, but there's hundreds of parameters you can put on there. So, uh, it all works. Uh, it does performance stuff as well, so you can set quarter mile times and 0 to 100k times and etc. etc. Pretty trick, and because it's all right here, it's just like you got extra gauges. Fancy, very cool. Um, I've just been throwing apps at this thing. Um, it's amazing, does everything. Very, very cool. Uh, it's got navigation as well, uh, Google, Google Maps. Uh, there's also this built-in uh, navigation thing, which I'm not very familiar with. But um, it looks like a OEM sort of thing, but who knows, Google Maps is cool. So let's get yeah, oh. uh, currently I've got the microphone sitting up there and I put the GPS puck right there uh, it used to have a um, parrot hands free system in it and so some animal put a dirty big hole in my dash doing it so the GPS puck sitting there covers it obviously I'm missing the trim down here I've got to go back to the wreckers uh, what else does this thing do um, everything and anything it's very, very cool. Uh, totally recommended. Um, I can't remember what the price is. It's like 380 US or something like that. And it is well worth it if you're after a new head unit to upgrade your car. And um, the integration is just amazing. Eh? Um, one cool thing, notice it does, is I've lost all my PDC buttons. Not that I ever use them anyway. However, if I throw it in reverse, bingo. No longer just beeping stuff. I actually have proper indication of where things are. You can sort of see there if my phone will focus on it properly. Ah, uh, 
awesome and it's normally going to throw up the um, Revision camera on here but I don't have one installed as well because it's a hatchback and if you can't back a hatchback up without a Revision camera there's something wrong with you totally recommend this thing um, it looks awesome the buttons feel awesome it's cam bus integration is amazing it's better than I thought it would be um, what else is it to say go get yourself one <laughs> cheers